Okay, so we're trying to optimize the volume of this box and uh, where everything you see came uh, came from the last video. So watch that if, if you don't know where I'm, where I'm coming from. Anyways, so we're, we're talking about the domain and we said that x, the most x could ever be is the square root of 108 because that will make the surface area of the base 108 inches squared. And if we make x any bigger, then the surface area of the base will be more than 108 inches squared. So we know the total surface area, obviously, will be more than 108 inches squared. And the least x could ever be is 0, right? x can't be a negative number. So the least x could ever be is 0. And if x is 0, there is no base, and you'll have just everything going to height. So those, those, that's, the, that's the, the domain of the function according to the restrictions we've, we've, we've been given. And that's important to keep in mind, like I said in the last video, don't forget to consider the domain of the function because you, you very well may be uh, uh, missing, missing what the, like the correct answer, I suppose is a way to say it. Okay, so the domain of the function, I'm just going to write this up here. 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to the square root of 108. And another, I guess what I was, what I, uh, something that I want to explain about the domain is what if it were, were the case, and this is completely hypothetical, but what if it were the case that we had the volume function looked something like this. So this is, vo uh, oop, that's too thick. So here's volume and here is x, right? We have volume as a function of x. What if the domain looked like this? Uh, or sorry, what if the function looked like that for some reason? And the most that the volume is going to be is when x is at its the biggest it can be. So this would be, in our case, the, the square root of 108. We need to know what that point is so we know where the maximum volume is. We need, In other words, we need to know what the biggest x could be is because we have to test this point and make sure that it's not a maximum. Same thing with the minimum, or, or sorry, same thing with the other end point. Instead of having this be the case, it could be the case that the volume function it looks like this, something like this, where at when x is 0 or when x is the smallest it can possibly be, the, the volume is the biggest it, it can be. Or it might be the case where we have something like this, where, where the volume you know, is, is the biggest in the middle somewhere. Okay, anyways, that, uh, that's why we, we need to, that's another reason we need to figure out the domain is because we need to test those endpoints to see if they are the, uh, maximums for, the, for our function. Okay, so let's give ourselves a little rundown here. We figured out the formula for volume. That, that we've, we learned in elementary school. Uh, I, I think I'm running out of space. Let me do it on this side. One, we figured out this. Two, we got volume in terms of two variables. Three, this was the hardest step, getting volume in terms of one variable. And then this is just simplifying. And step four, we needed to figure out the domain because we have to test the endpoints and we need to uh, and, and we need to be realistic. We need to consider the, the, the scenario where we, we really do only have 108 inches to work with, squared inches of surface area. Okay, so now let's move on, move on from all of that and continue this problem. So we have our, our volume function, and now we want to take the derivative. Because, like I said, when I was drawing those, let's say this is what the volume looked like, the derivative, of course, tells us our critical numbers, which could be maximum and minimum points. So let's do that. So the, der the derivative of the volume with respect to the, the variable x is going to be 27 minus 3 fourths x squared. So like I said, taking the derivative is the easy part. This is just a simple power rule. And now to find the critical numbers, we just set the derivative equal to 0. OK. And, and solve. So to solve this, this is going to be 27 equals 3 fourths x squared times by 4, this is 108, uh, let me do it up here, 108 equals 3x squared, so we just multiplied both sides by 4, divide by 3, and this becomes 36 equals x squared, so x equals plus or minus 6. 
Well, we know x can't be negative. That doesn't make any sense to have a negative length, and it's not part of our domain. So x equals 6. Oops. x equals 6 is our only critical number. So positive 6. So now we have to test 0, 6, and the square root of 108 and see which one is the biggest. Those are the only possible spots that we could, could have a maximum is at the endpoints or when x is equal to 6 at that critical number. It could be, and, and, and it's important to test these things because it could be, not to, to continue rehashing the point, but it could be, like I said, the volume could look something like, like this. It could be that the volume looks like this. And then this critical number, it would still show up, but it's a minimum in this case. If this were if this were the function and the the maximum would be at the right endpoint so it's that that's a completely possible scenario so you got to you you have to make sure that you keep in mind the domain and the endpoints okay anyways let's continue so we need to plug 0 6 and the square root of 108 into the original function for volume so here's our volume function in terms of x so if we plug 0 in we get 0 minus 0 equals 0 if we plug the square root of 108 in, then we are going to get 27 times the square root of 108. Or I don't even need those parentheses. If there was a tax on parentheses, I'd be paying it needlessly because I didn't need them. Minus uh, the cubed, uh, uh, sorry, the square root of 108 cubed can be written as 108 times the square root of 108. And that's all divided by 4. Well, 108 divided by 4 is 27. So this is 27 square root of 108 minus 27 square root of 108, which is equal to 0. So we, when we plugged in 0, the volume was 0. And that makes sense, because if x is 0, that's what we said before. When x is 0, everything goes to height. And if you have only one dimension, only height, you're not going to have any volume. And likewise, if, if x is the square root of 108, then all of the area is going to be in the base, and you will have zero height, and if you have zero height, then you have zero volume. So this function now probably looks something like this, since we've been talking about what it looks like. Now we've verified that it looks like this. When x is zero, you have zero volume. When x is the square root of 108, you have zero volume. And so six must be our, our maximum. We know we can't have negative volume, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't go down. So 6 is our maximum point. Okay, and now we're almost done, and I, I'm, this has taken longer than I expected. So all we have to do is realize that if x equals 6, then the volume, then the volume is equal to 6 by 6 by, by what is the height? What's the height? Well, the height is... 27 over 6, right, over x, minus 6 over 4. And this simplifies, I'm not, I, I would normally do the math, but I'm, I'm running out of time, but this just simplifies to 3. And I think it's easier if you do it 27 over 6 minus, this could be, this could be rewritten as 9 over 6. And, and the way I got to that was I did 3 over 2. 6 over 4 simplifies to 3 over 2, and then I multiplied by 3 over 3. So anyways, uh, and then you get 18 over 6. I guess I will do the math equals 3, just quickly. Anyways, what we did was we, we know x has to be 6 for a maximum, so we just plugged it into what we found. This is the height, right? 27 over x minus x over 4 is the height. And so we found out the height is equal to 3. So our, our final dimensions after all of this analysis is 6 by 6 by 3. 6 by 6 by 3. Okay, so I hope that makes sense That makes sense to you. And don't forget the domain and, and, and keep your mind sharp to figure out how to get things in, in terms of only one variable. And we'll continue doing examples to help you get practice. All right, see you in the next video.